everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So as you can tell by the title, today I am filming a What I Got For Christmas 2021. And this is literally the most exciting video of the year by far. And I absolutely love doing this video. I did it last year and it's definitely going to be an annual thing. Before I do start the video, I am gonna be that YouTuber and put a disclaimer in there to say I am not bragging in any shape or form. I genuinely just really love watching these videos myself and I know a lot of people like to I like I've had so many people message me going oh what have you got for Christmas I'm like you've got to wait for the video sorry um but just so many people are interested so I might as well do it most youtubers do do this and yeah I'll just put it out there this is not to show off or brag this is just for the people that are nosy like me but I have been very very lucky this year it is the best year for presents by far. I'm just, I was so happy the whole of Christmas day. I was just like, I couldn't stop saying thank you to my mum. I was like, I'm just, I never expected that much. I've also got my Christmas day vlog coming out on Friday, but I wanted to put this one out first because I've just had so many people asking me. I'm just like, you know what? I'll just put it up. I will put you out of your misery and put it up early as, as early as I can. There's not going to be like a particular order. It's kind of just like laid out in front of me. And I'm just looking like where on earth do I start? So I am actually going to start off with my new Canon G7X and not going to lie, don't have it with me right now because I took it around to my nana's to show her because I've like been showing it off and I left it there and she's gone out and I could have waited to have like filmed tomorrow but I want to get this video up today and I just I don't have time like to wait to put the video up because I'm just so desperate to put it up. I'm pretty sure you all know what a Canon G7X looks like anyway. I might insert a picture, I might not, but it's just a Canon camera, which means that the YouTube videos are going to be absolutely insane. No longer filming on my phone, which is a miracle because I'm actually sick of it. I, like, I just don't have any storage on my phone. The quality is awful and I have wanted a camera for at least like eight months when I knew I was like going to stick to YouTube. I've wanted a camera. I've been so desperate. But what I do have is the box with like the little bits that come with it. And you're probably really not interested, but I was like, if I can't show the camera, I've got to show the stuff that comes with it. So obviously I've got the battery. This is fully charged now as well. And it's plugged in, but this is like the charger for the battery. It goes in like that. And then um, it comes up as red when it's charging, but it is full because I have been charging it. And then I've actually got two memory cards. This is one of them. This is a 32 gig uh memory card and i actually have a sand disc one as well which is 128 gig but i've misplaced it somewhere i can't find it but i'm sure it will turn up it's just like they're this small like it's so easy to lose like look how small it is i'm sure it'll turn up somewhere it's not out of the house i haven't took it out of the house and i've checked inside my cameras and everything like i can't find it but i will find it i am determined to find it because they are very blooming expensive i was very lucky to actually get that particular one because it's got so much storage on it so obviously i've got my camera and then i'm going to go through all of like the accessories that i got to go with my camera so i'm actually going to start off with the camera case i was so excited to open this um it's just a cream very gorgeous leather looking case and you just put your camera in there it's got a strap but i won't use that but how gorgeous does this look because i need to have like full protection on this camera so i got a case and it is stunning and then to go with even extra protection i got some screen protectors and it just comes in like an ugly brown box but i've actually got two protectors in there which is brilliant so i won't smash the screen because we don't have time for that and then the last camera accessory is obviously my tripod which is a gorilla tripod it'll be really good for when i'm like when i'm vlogging and then oh actually i have another i have another accessory two seconds i have a huge tripod which well the last three things were from my mum and this huge tripod was from my dad and it is literally the most top-notch tripod i've ever seen in my life i wasn't even expecting this like i didn't ask sorry if i keep playing with my hair but these front bits getting on my nerves i didn't ask for a tripod so when i opened this i was like because i was literally prepared to spend my own money on it um but the quality is insane and i've been looking and they're like the top tripod 
and obviously it extends more um but i'm very very happy with this because i was literally like Ugh, i've got to spend money on a tripod and it's got to be a good one i can't get a cheap one because then it'll break easy and then i'll have to buy another one um so yeah very very grateful for this so as you can probably tell i am so excited to use my camera and after the christmas day vlog that goes up on friday every single video will be on my new camera i still need to figure out how to use it i've just been playing about like what on earth is this i've never even like really touched a camera in my life i just don't use them so yeah i need to teach myself how to use it and i'm actually going to start filming on it tomorrow for a very exciting video that i'm not going to tell you about because i'm just going to shut up before i ruin the surprise i'm so excited but the next present is from my nana and my granddad and i knew about this one but opening it up i was like oh yeah i am so excited to use these so i've actually got a parcel from refi beauty and if you didn't know what this is this is the makeup brand by jess hunt i'm pretty sure you'll all know who she is she is absolutely stunning and of course i had to order from her I actually already have the cream blush that I got from Selfridges in London and I pretty much got the rest of the whole collection. So it comes with like a little card with some writing on the back. It basically just says thank you for ordering. It comes in very cute paper. Obviously I've opened it and I ordered three things. So the first thing was the brow, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. The brow sculpt and it's like the gel which I'm actually using on my eyebrows right now and it also comes with the brush like the hidden the hidden brush at the top and so far very very good this is the only thing i've used i haven't used the other two things and then i got the duo brush which i'm very excited about so it looks like this and this is like a little stippling thing i guess you could use it for like foundation or with the next thing i'm going to show you in a minute and this end which I saw Jess use for blush. And I feel like that would be a really good brush for blush as well. And then the last thing I got was the cream bronzer in sand. I was really debating like what colour to get with the bronzer. Um, but I'm very glad I got this colour because I didn't want it too dark. And you can, you can build it up. It's very buildable. So that's what it looks like. It's all just like such aesthetic packaging. I think that's what made me buy it to be honest. Like the packaging is amazing. But that's what it looks like inside. So... My makeup game is about to be stepped up a notch and I'm just hopefully going to look like Jess Hunt because that is the aim, that is the whole reason why I got it because I want to be as pretty as her. So I will let you know if it works. So that was from my nana and granddad and then they also gave me some money. Now I'm going back to my mum and I was so excited to open these next things. So the first thing is some Primark pyjamas and she actually has these and I've always said like oh my god mom I love your pyjamas so she went and bought me some and they're just leopard print and they're really really soft and I'm a sucker for anything soft so it was very good that she got me these because I will be wearing them to death I've wanted to wear them but I wanted to keep them in the package for this video so they will be on tonight and she also got me another pair of pyjamas she got me some Disney ones and they are Tinkerbell, again, from Primark. And you just can't go wrong if you buy me Disney. Like, I'm I'm obsessed. So I'm very glad she got me these. I'm going to have to, like, fight over which pyjamas I'm going to wear tonight. I might just mix and match because I can't decide. And then she also got me a dressing gown, which is very exciting because my dressing gown at the minute is absolutely wrecked because I use it for fake tan. So she's bought me this one and said, like, use your old one just for fake tan and then this one for, like, everything else. And it's pink with love hearts on and it's absolutely, it's so fluffy. So, so nice. It's a lot longer than my old one as well because my old one is literally, like, cupping my bum. It's that short. But a fresh dressing gown is just so nice because it's still, because it's not being washed, it's just so freshly soft my mum's really good at doing like the thoughtful presents like the stuff i won't think to ask her for like the only things i asked her for this year was the camera accessories so i asked her, asked her for four things and she came out with all this stuff i was like my mum's a good one she is amazing and then another thoughtful thing from my mum so basically i said to her the other week that i'm really loving like makeup bags now like i used to i just have a drawer full of makeup and i used to just pick my stuff out the drawer but now i have everything in the bag so i just feel like it's easier because i use the same thing every day so i just live out of a makeup bag so she got me a makeup bag but it's one of them that you open up you like put all of your makeup inside and then you pull it it like 
goes like this into like a what's the like a ball and then you strap it and it's just like really good for traveling you'll know what i mean you've probably seen these before i just thought this was really thoughtful because she knows i'm loving my makeup bags now so i love that and it's really cute actually it's got glasses it's got makeup it's got jewelry and it's a really nice color and very good for traveling and i'm going on three holidays next year which is perfect so i'm going to go on to my dad's stuff now this is from my dad and his girlfriend so i think i'm going to start with this i opened up this and i was like what on earth but my dad actually knows that i love this ghost perfume he bought me a ghost perfume last year it's not any of these actually but this is a mini collection and it comes with four which is very exciting because it means i can like switch between scents whereas normally i'd just go for the same one um i've smelt this one this one's very nice i haven't smelt the rest yet but the packaging's cute i just thought that was a really cute gift because i love perfume and i love the ghost perfume so that's cute and then i also got a dkny perfume and this one does smell gorgeous i sprayed it in front of my nana and granddad and they were like oh wow it just looks like this and it comes with a i think it's a, a body lotion you normally like put this on when you're wearing perfume and it makes it last longer here's a body lotion yeah it's a body lotion so again more perfume brilliant that's what we love and then you know how i said i like disney i got some disney mini slippers which is unreal and they're so soft as well i don't normally wear slippers but i feel like i'll wear these because they're very soft and then along with the mini theme i got a lollipop and i haven't eaten it yet i'm surprised because I've been eating a lot of chocolate. But yeah, it's just a mini lollipop. I think it's from Primark. Yeah, from Primark. I hope the chocolate's nice. I hope it doesn't taste cheap. Fingers crossed, because that would be very nice. And then I've got some beauty blenders, which always goes down well with me, because I actually need some new ones. These are from Primark as well. And I've, my last one's from Primark, I'm pretty sure. And I've got four. This green one will be very good for concealer, because I always feel like my big one's too big for under my eyes. So this one, again, always goes down well, because you always need... A new beauty blender and then i think this is the last thing from my dad i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure this is the last thing um two packets of percy pigs which is i mean you can't go wrong i i'm obsessed with percy pig i'm actually going to show you the next thing which is very similar to this and you will realize that i'm just it's the best thing ever like if you don't like percy pigs what are you doing but how can you not like them? And Marks and Spencers have gone all out this year with the Percy Pig things. Like they've got onesies, they've got wrapping paper. So there we go. Two packs of Percy Pigs. Actually, no, it's not. There's one more thing. They got me um, a pack of scrunchies, which is brill. Because when I put my hair up in a bun, like if I'm washing my tan off in the shower or if I just want it out of my face, I will always use a scrunchie. So now I'm going back to my nana and as I was saying a minute ago, I love Percy Pig. So this is why my nana put everything in a Percy Pig bag. Inside the bag, we actually have one, two, three, four packets of Percy Pigs. This one pretty much empty because I was scoffing these Christmas morning. So that is now a total of six bags of Percy Pigs. I am literally sorted for like the next month or probably only last month i'll need some more because i love them and then also i got a massive toblerone i got some snowballs and i've never tried them but they are literally chocolate covered in sugar so they can't be that bad and then i've got some smarties this like freddo faces thing that i've already started eating a massive kinder santa which is an absolute classic some jelly tots and also a pack of curly whirlies because my nana actually got the curly whirlies for both me and Jensen because she knows how much we love them. So lots and lots of chocolate from my nana and then obviously the other two things. So if my nana's watching, she's definite actually, she did say she watched my last video, so maybe she is. Hi nana, if you are, thank you very, very much for my sweets and just my gifts in general. And then we are on the last little bits now. Oh my god. I literally just, I literally just remembered. I got this night hoodie from my dad and his girlfriend as well. I don't know why I forgot that. It's just because I've got it on. So it literally just um, a grey hoodie. And I did actually ask for a night hoodie. So I'm very glad I got one because I'm obsessed with Nike. And it's grey. We love grey. It makes me look tanned. Um, yeah, so I literally totally forgot about that. Sorry. This is officially the last present 
from my dad. Now we're going on to last little bits from mum and it is mainly just chocolate. Um, but first she got me a pack of thongs. We love that. Oh, damn it, I didn't think it would hit the floor. And then she actually got me a dream cash. This was the first thing I opened because she knows that I get like very frequent bad dreams. And I don't know, it's really pretty. She says it might work, it might not. And should I get it out actually? Yeah, it, it does go with my room, so I'm gonna hang it up anyway. But, I mean, it's supposed to work. She was like, it's supposed to work, but I don't know if it will, so you might as well try it. And it just looks like that. It is really pretty though. It's just pretty for decoration, never mind anything else. And then she got me a classic selection box. We literally get them every single year. And then I got my favorite chocolate in the entire world, a chocolate orange. I was very happy to open this. Can't go wrong with chocolate orange. I have it every single year without fail. And then she got me a tub of Jelly Babies and I absolutely adore Jelly Babies. Like one of the best sweets ever. So I'm glad she got me a massive tub. Jensen, I found it in the bottom of my bag. Woo, I know, yay. It's not that small. It is. You say one like that. Well, it is. It's not. It is. Mum, the packaging. No, but it's small. All right, I'm happy now. Bye. Enjoy the cinema. Yeah. Bye. So, as you can tell by my reaction, I found my other memory card, my 128 gig one. God, I am so relieved. I got myself so stressed over that. It is unbelievable. And breathe and breathe. I need to text my nana because I was literally like, I don't know where it is. It's so expensive. I'm gonna have to buy another one. But anyway, last thing from... No, am I all right? It's not even the last thing. I've got one more thing. Um, A box of sweets. And she basically said, because I've never seen these before. She was saying that she always got these as a child and she'd never seen them like anywhere. And then she went into Pound Stretcher and saw them and she was like, I've got to get them the kids because apparently they're like the bomb. So I'm excited to try these. My brother also got some. And then I have one more thing, which not gonna lie, might be one of my favorite presents. It is a box of Fox's biscuits. And I'm gonna show you, I have tucked into these and bearing in mind it's only two days after Christmas. I mean, the top layer is pretty much gone. We've got a bottom layer though, which is brilliant. I've just, I've been eating them for my breakfast, like today, because I was eating these this morning. I just totally forgot to have breakfast and lunch because I've just been stuffing my face with biscuits and they're very filling and very nice, but they make me sick if I eat them on an empty stomach. So that is not good. But that is the last of my presents. Again, very, very grateful. Um, I'm really excited to actually put this video out because when I got a present this year, I just sat down and like looked back at my Snapchat memories at the presents I got last year. And it just like, it makes me think like how much I've changed, how much my taste has changed in things. And obviously I've got a camera this year. So it's like how my life has changed with YouTube and stuff. That sounds really dramatic. And I sound like, I think I'm an influencer. I don't mean that. It's just, I don't know. I just, I didn't have like anything really, I don't want to say exciting. I don't know. I just think this year has been absolutely brilliant. And I also got a bit of money off my mum. My mum has literally spoiled me to death this year. I was so shocked. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Also, comment down below your favourite Christmas present from this year. Or you can just comment down below everything you got because I'd love to read it. But if you can't be bothered, just your favourite present. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any other videos. And I hope to see you in my next video, which will be on my new camera. Bye.